What's going on guys? It's me, Miranda, and today we're on another adventure. We're going to the Kalusahashi Creek East. Now there's two sides of these split by the um, interstate on I-75. On the west side it's more kayaky and the east side is more trail side. So we're going to hit that out, see what they have up by I-75. I'm expecting a lot of noise from the interstate, but it should be a blast. It's a little rainy right now, but I think once we get up there it's going to stop raining anyways. Usually if it rains on the coastal side where I'm at, we go a little bit inland to 75, it's not raining, so we're going to do that. Check it out. See what's going on. I couldn't find too much information online, but I'm sure once we get there we'll be able to find some. So on, as always, we're on the look for alligators, gator, al we're on the look for alligators, uh, turtles, possibly an otter, I don't think so. Obviously t different types of birds. And we'll probably see like squirrels and stuff like that. So, I'm not too sure what to expect, but let me head on out over there and we'll dive into it. All right, guys, we made it. Um, instantly, when we walked in, it's like a short little, probably less than a third of a mile road. And then it opens up to a parking lot. There's like a little couple of pavilions that you sit and eat, eat lunch at. So, yeah, a couple of pavilions. There's uh, an old school well. Actually, kind of. One second. So there's three trails we're gonna hit. The first one is going to be a live oak trail. The second should be the sweet bay trail, and the third is a fetter bush trail. And so, without further ado, we're gonna dive in. We're going to see what's going on, and like I said, it was raining when I left the house, now the sun's out. So, that's the nice thing about being around here, is if it's, you know, people, they book camping grounds, and then it's like, oh, it's supposed to rain, just wait it out. It's only going to last a couple, it, if it lasts one or two hours, it's probably a hurricane, okay? But the rain comes and goes really quickly, so, the only bad, the only downfall sometimes is when it does rain, it gets hot afterwards, but most of the time, it's not too bad. So, instead we're going to dive in and see what's going on here. So most of these trails have some boardwalks on it, but the rest are kind of just like grassy area sand or all that. The regular stuff we've been walking on you are coming down and you need a wheelchair or an area for a, st a stroller that's not like one of those strollers with the massive massive wheels to go off road in and stuff on then hit you can hit up like the live oak trail and it's gonna be mostly paved the other ones it's gonna be harder but i guarantee you most of it is going to already be like padded down from how often people were walking on it So I'm not gonna lie, I came here once before and I recorded a video, I don't remember what happened to it. I don't know if I didn't edit it because, I don't know if I didn't edit it because my computer was bad or I didn't edit it because the video came out like grainy and stuff like that. So I'll have to look through all my files and see if I still have it. If I do, I'll integrate some of the stuff here if I found different things. Maybe I talked about something different. And we'll just kind of combine the two, and like I did um, on the Charlotte Harbor one when I was eating, getting eaten live by the mosquitoes. So there are some benches you can sit on. You kind of watch the view. There is a bike path that I'm not gonna hit on, but this is a bike path, which I mean we can go. Well. You know me, guys. Well, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to hit up this trail and see what time it is when I'm done with the trail. And then we'll hit that loop. I think that is a good happy medium. So we'll go through, finish up this, the, two, the three trails, and then we'll hit that loop 
see what we got going on. I think that sounds like a plan. What do you guys think? So the trail loop for the live oak trail is actually really small. We just finished it up and at the end, remember what I was talking about? I want to see alligators. Let's rewind it. As always, we're on look for alligators, gator, out. Al we're on look for alligators, uh, turtles, and there's a tortoise. I, mean, I really don't think we'll see an alligator today. But, I mean, you never know. We saw five baby alligators last week. Yeah, that was cool. I can't believe all the stuff we found last week. I mean, otters and alligator, baby alligators, and I saw an inhinga, and I don't even remember. We it was such a cool trip. I mean, everything I saw. I mean, the, there was an owl. There's multiple owls actually. I mean, phew, ridiculous. So I don't think today's gonna be quite like yesterday with all of the critters and stuff. But that doesn't change the fact that one, we found a tortoise already. And two, it's actually absolutely stunning in here. So, I just found some bug spray going to like a murkier area. Area, and plus with all the rain happening, I'm so preparing myself for some mosquitoes. So we're not going through that anymore. So, tell that the rain came through. Ugh. Glad I brought and change of shoes. I do not want to get in my car. I do not want to get in my car with muddy shoes on. Look at all the locusts. I have two bearded dragons, and if I had, if I let them eat, Becky, she's my youngest one. Becky would go insane for all these. Look, they're all. That's all locusts. Little baby locusts. She go crazy for those. So the last time I was here compared to now, one, it's a lot muddier. Two, it's a lot greener. I mean, I know we've gotten a lot of rain and stuff like that. And I know it's been a few months since I was here last. But wow. I mean, the difference greenery can make to an area. It's unreal. So I'm trying to focus on not slipping out in this, in this mud. Because that would suck. I really don't want to get muddy. But... This is kind of what we're working with. I might need to invest in some hiking boots. That might be smart. Most of my shoes are um, knit type shoes. So like when we go on a sandy area, I get When we go in a sandy area, I get sand all up in my shoes, and if we go in an area that has a bunch of water, it's, I'm going to get water up in my shoes. So that might be on my to-do list also, to get list I should say. So here is another bench, gives you this beautiful view. I'm hoping the footage I have up here, I can, it's not bad quality for you guys, so I can kind of like show you the difference between the two times I came. So the time before here, it was, it was springtime. So it doesn't really rain too much during springtime. It, it does a little bit, but not, not like it does in our summertime. So, uh, fingers crossed guys. But I'm going to keep diving into the Sweet Bay Trail, see what we find. You guys know I love you, right? You know, y'all are the real MVPs, right? 
some big puddles and I think I think my feet are gonna get drenched in here but I'm doing it cuz cuz I love you guys and I want to show off this beautiful area so I'm gonna do my best I can to avoid those puddles and if I can't avoid it pains me to say this cuz I hate having my socks wet I'm gonna trudge through it and see what we can find just know it's all for the love so if you're having fun enjoying these walks and these trails and and all that hit the subscribe button to see more I got a link in my description or hit the little red subscribe button and I promise you <laughs> I will get you more but you gotta show some love on this video So we're gonna detour off the Sweet Bay and hit the Fetter Bush Trail, loop around, and then finish up the Sweet Bay. And then it's kind of a quiet day. I just saw a bird, but it flew off pretty quickly before I could see it. I think it'd be cool to get a GoPro that kind of mounts to my my head, so when I turn my head, you guys can see what I see. The only issue is I don't know why I'm trying to walk around these puddles. And I already got my my socks wet. The only issue with that. It's a GoPro battery die pretty quickly. So we need to figure something out. But let's see what today has in store for us. Ooh. So after we trudge through the swamplands, not really swamplands, we took we hit this boardwalk, right? We're gonna take this for a little bit. Uh, definitely, if you are trying to push a stroll around, or handing up with a wheelchair, or just prone to accidents, like I stumble a lot when I when I want to. Oh, guys! I just saw a snake. Oh, it slithered away. I wonder if I can. Oh. I don't know where it went. Down to the boardwalk. Anyway, so if you stumble, like, I trip over. You can be flat ground and I'm tripping. So if you see me look down a lot, it's because I don't want to trip and fall. But there's a lot of exposed roots and stuff like that. So if you do come out here and walk, just make sure you're you are careful. I don't want to see anyone trip and fall and get hurt. Uh, and if you're using a stroller or a wheelchair, definitely try not to come out here during the summertime. It's going to be flooded and soaking wet. Don't want you guys to get stuck in the mud. The shiny dark leaves are one to three inches. That's these. Um, showy clusters of tiny pink flowers appear in spring, which we're in right now. So, Let's see there. See if I can get some. There's some flowers. That means all over. You can see them down here. So on our way in, actually, there was a uh, printed picture. I don't, I don't know when it was printed. It was an old, old, weathered, like piece of paper. It's talking about I saw bobcat babies. If we saw bobcat babies, I would lose my mind. I would literally. Oh. I love cats, like big cats, small cats, all that. I, bobcats are one of my favorites, like animals, wildlife. Like, oh my gosh, I'd have a heart attack if we saw one. I don't know how I would, like, I wouldn't be able to talk. Nothing would come out. But uh, probably I won't see it this time of year. Maybe in the summer. Maybe more in the winter time. I don't know. But that would be so cool to see. A bob like that would be so cool. But we're back on the Sweet Bay Trail. 
uh, on the feather bush. We saw obviously feather bushes, and we saw some snakes. Nothing too else. Nothing else crazy enough like that. So I think we're gonna finish up the sweet bay. I think there's a lookout somewhere, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for the lookout, and then we're gonna hit that. I think it's at a four mile loop. So let's see what we can find today, guys. Oh yes. That back there is a skink. When I was a kid, we had this cat. His name was Mickey Mouse, and my parents would tell me stories because I was still, I mean, I was a baby, so I really don't remember too much. I remember the house you were talking about. But anyways, this cat would eat skinks, and then it would start walking, and it had eaten so many, it started be only being able to, like, turn left, and then it would eat another one, and then it would, like, straighten out, and then eat another one, and then start just walking in a circle to the right. I mean... It's supposed to, they're not good for um, animals to eat, so I don't know how that cat survived, but that is wild. So, leading into this, we found the lookout, and let's see. Look at that. So I really don't know what that plant was. Uh, it looks like it is in Fort Myers. We're in North Fort Myers currently, so I think that's in Fort Myers itself. But I don't know exactly where where that is or what it is really. So it's a nice little lookout though. We get all of this. So along this trail. We have the standard little plaques that we have, usually on all the other ones. And so we've seen the feather bush, it talks about all pine slash, I mean, we've read all about, I mean, they grow hundreds of feet tall, they're fire resistant after they grow a certain height. Um, Woodpeckers love to call them home. There's multiple different species, but mostly in Florida, it's the red slash pine. The leaves are eight to 10 inches long. I mean, we can go on. If you missed that, um, the first couple of vlogs, we actually learned a lot about the, the slash pines. And then we learned, I know in this one, it's going to, when we kind of wrap it up, it's going to talk about live oak trees. And that I didn't know a lot about until I read about it here, which is pretty cool. And then this trail is named after Sweet Bay. And if you know of the grocery store Sweet Bay, Sweet Bay the logo is an, an actual sweet bay. So hopefully we can find a sweet bay out here. Um, otherwise I'll try to find, I'll try to find uh, an image to kind of put up of, of a sweet bay. So usually they put those signs right where there is the plant, but I don't see any sweet bays over here. I don't know, maybe if you guys saw it, let me know. So I'm gonna find an image and uh, throw it up right now. So maybe they're not in bloom this time of year. I don't. I have to look into it. Cause I don't know anything about sweet bays unless I don't know what that is, but could it open up to be a sweet? I have to dive in and figure it out. So that's what I like about this is we go out on these trails. I learn, I see, and if I don't know, I research it. All right, let's keep headed on. What's going on guys? It's me, Miranda, and today we're on another adventure. We're going to the Calusi, 
Kusahashi Creek East. Now there's two sides of these split by the um, Interstate on I-75. On the west side it's more kayaky and the east side is more trail side. So we're going to hit that out. See what they have up by I-75. I'm expecting a lot of noise from the interstate. But it should be a blast. It's a little rainy right now but I think once we get up there it's going to stop raining anyways. Usually if it rains on the coastal side where I'm at we go a little bit inland to 75. It's not raining so we're going to do that. Check it out. See what's going on. I couldn't find too much information online, but I'm sure once we get there, we'll be able to find some. So, on, as always, we're on look for alligators, gator. Al we're on look for alligators, uh, turtles, possibly an otter. I don't think so. Obviously, t different types of birds, and we'll probably see like squirrels and stuff like that. So, I'm not too sure what to expect, but let me head on out over there, and we'll dive into it. Alright guys, we made it. Um, instantly when we walked in, it's like a short little, probably less than a third of a mile road. And then it opens up to a parking lot. There's like a little couple of pavilions that you sit and eat, eat lunch at. So yeah, a couple of pavilions. There's uh, an old school well. Actually kind of... So there's three trails we're going to hit. The first one is going to be a live oak trail, the second should be the sweet bay trail, and the third is a fetter bush trail. And so without further ado, we're going to dive in, we're going to see what's going on, and like I said, it was raining when I left the house, now the sun's out. So that's the nice thing about being around here is if it's, you know, people, they book camping grounds and then it's like, oh, it's supposed to rain. Just wait it out. It's only gonna last a couple. It, if it lasts one or two hours, it's probably a hurricane. Okay, but the rain comes and goes really quickly. So the only bad, the only downfall sometimes is when it does rain, it gets hot afterwards. But most of the time, it's not too bad. So instead, we're gonna dive in and see what's going on here. So most of these trails have some boardwalks on it, but the rest are kind of just like grassy area, sand, or all the, the regular stuff we've been walking on. You are coming down and you need a wheelchair or an area for a, a stroller that's not like one of those strollers with the massive, massive wheels to go off-road in and stuff on, then hit, you can hit up like the Live Oak Trail and it's going to be mostly paved. The other ones, it's going to be harder. But I guarantee you most of it is going to already be like patted down from how often people were walking on it. So I'm not going to lie, I came here once before and I recorded a video. I don't remember what happened to it. I don't know if I didn't edit it because... I don't know if I didn't edit it because my computer was bad, or I didn't edit it because the video came out like grainy and stuff like that. So I'll have to look through all my files and see if I still have it. If I do, I'll integrate some of the stuff here if I found different things. Maybe I talked about something different. And we'll just kind of combine the two, and like I did um, on the Charlotte Harbor one when I was eating, getting eaten live by the mosquitoes. So, there are some benches you can sit on. You kind of watch the view. There is a bike path that I'm not going to hit on. But this is a bike path. Which, I mean, we can go, well, you know me, guys. Well, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to hit up this trail and see what time it is when I'm done with the trail, and then we'll hit that loop. I think that is a good happy medium. So we'll go through, finish up this, the, two, the three trails, and then we'll hit that loop, see what we got going on. I think that sounds like a plan. What do you guys think? <laughs> 